Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, with one of many videos available to you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. In this part, I'll show you an example of when you may want to turn off your channel separator in iMachining. If we take a look at the part itself, I want to machine out this surface over here as well as the surface on the other side. They're basically the exact same type of surfaces as far as the shape goes, just on different sides. So I'll start my first operation of iMachining on that particular operation over there. If we take a look at the operation itself, you can see I am using Mac 1 position 2. The geometry itself are these edges over here. The tool that I will be using will be a 3 8 end mill with five flutes, having a cutting length of one and a quarter inches as far as the cutting length of the tool itself. We'll be going down seven eighths of an inch as shown over here. And in my technology wizard, we'll be working at level six. Let's take a quick look at the simulation itself. And as you can see, the tool will go down start creating that separation channel, which is really what it needs to do. And then when it finishes working on this separation channel, it'll clean this area using the morphing spiral cut to clean everything off of there, as we can see on the part itself. Now you can also see that there was no problem as far as support. I had plenty of material over here on the back, on the bottom here, plenty of support on the part to machine that part properly. If I were to open up my next operation, which is on the flip side of the part, the geometry is the exact same, also on that area over there, the exact same tool, and the depth of cut is the exact same as before. However, if we take a look at our simulation, you can see, and I'll stop it right there, we're going to run into a problem. We're going to have now a thin wall over here. So if we create this channel all the way up to the end, what's going to happen is that once we finish that channel, this bulk of material that's left over over here will not have enough support on it. And it'll be actually just hanging on by a thin wall over here, as shown over here. So there's actually no support. We're going to have a lot of vibrations on this wall, which is actually pretty dangerous. The way we deal with this is very simple. All I have to do is go into technology and we have our channels. All I have to do is turn off the channels. Now if I run my simulation, and I'll show it in machine simulation, you'll see that the part will actually start working trochordial around the part. So this bulk material has plenty of support from the back over here. There is no thin wall on the bottom over here where the material is being cut. Everything is still supported from above. If we take a look at the rest of the simulation, you'll see that everything is being machined. It is getting smaller and smaller, but there's always support on this material, thereby allowing you to machine this also very quickly as well. And all I had to do to get this done work properly we just turn off the channels to allow you to work quickly with iMachining. For more videos on SolidCam Professor, please go to our website www.solidcam.com and look for the tab called SolidCam Professor. Thank you for joining us on SolidCam Professor. Take care and have a nice day.